Hello, 3D printing peeps. Hello, resin printing peeps. I am here today sitting next to the ginormous Creality Halo Mage Pro. I am very excited to open this thing up and see how it works. Today we are going to unbox it and take a close look at all of its parts and its packing, after which I will begin a series of videos to dive further into the setup and use of this hopefully amazing, gigantic resin 3D printer. On first glance, I can see that it came in a quality box with proper labeling. It feels sturdy, heavy, and strong, and it survived its trek from China all the way here to New Jersey, USA, without so much as a ding on the box. So I commend Creality for passing step one, which is getting the machine to me in one piece. The box itself is actually rather interesting as it appears to have handles installed on the bottoms of the box. There is a graphic that implies if I was to cut this out, I could stick my hands in there and carry it. Maybe we should try that. I don't know if I've done this properly, but it does seem to have handles hidden beneath this plastic cover. I am going to go ahead and remove the tape from this bottom section of the box. Reaching into the box, I can actually grab those same handles and use them to gently pull up. And there it is, using those handles, I was able to very carefully lift the cardboard box up and away from the Halo Mage Pro, which does in fact seem to be in perfect shape inside the box. Now, in case you were concerned about the packing, seeing how there's no foam protecting the top portion of the printer, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the inside of the box. There was indeed beautiful packing foam form-fitted to the Halo Mage Pro inside the box, as well as this piece of foam protecting the front portion of the printer. Speaking of packing material and foam, it is sitting inside a nice piece of form-fitted foam as well. Let's get it out of there. With all the foam having been removed, she is still protected by yet another layer, which is this plastic bag. And under the bag, yet another layer of protection in this plastic film over the beautiful tilting cover. Speaking of this beautiful tilting cover, under the tilting cover, you will see even more packing yet. Quite a few people in this industry don't give Creality the respect that they deserve. As a matter of fact, some give them much less respect than they deserve. As you can see, this printer is very well packaged and I would say better packaged than many of the other printers I have received. This is a strong foam, very strong fitting the printer properly. It's not a generic piece of foam. It is form fitted and fit the printer exactly as it was supposed to. Inside that foam, you're gonna find your accessory package as well as some documentation. And then as you can see, another form-fitting piece of protective foam that was designed and installed perfectly to protect the critical components of this printer during shipping. When it comes to packing, I am really pleased. Creality has over-delivered on this machine and the quality of that packing job is evident in the pristine condition this printer arrived, having survived its trek from manufacturing to shipping center, from China all the way to New Jersey, USA.
Here you are looking at the manual controls for the resin pump behind the printer. There is a hose. It is taped for shipping. The tape will be removed and the hose will go into a vat or a bottle or a container of resin, which will then be pumped into the machine using the machine's resin feeding system. Again, here are the controls for that resin feeding system. It pumps from behind the machine and fills the vat using this little tube right here that's hooked into the resin vat. Of course, this is the resin vat and this is the ginormous resin print bed. Over here next to that print bed, you'll spot this guy. This is the air filtration system. This will draw the resin fumed air from the machine and push it out the back of the machine via this output port. The machine comes with this extending exhaust hose fitted to an adapter for the Halo Mage Pro. You simply line up the notches to the exhaust port and twist to lock this extending hose into place where you would go ahead and feed this hose out a window or location of your choice. It can be removed by simply turning the opposite direction and pulling it off. To remove this piece of foam, simply touch settings, printer settings, Z axis movement, and touch back to zero. Now you can go ahead and remove the final piece of packing foam. For size comparison, here is the Creality Halo Mage Pro. And here is the Anycubic Photon Mono X. You will notice a considerable size increase between the two. Also one of the sleeper hit features of the Halo 1 Pro is the face mask cover. This cover is going to make use and maintenance of the Halo 1 Pro so much easier than having to remove and replace the cover of the Anycubic Photon Mono X and most other resin printers, especially with repeated use as things start to get a little slimy. The Anycubic Photon Mono X is a very large 3D printer, and I'm a big fan of that line. It has a huge print bed that can handle an awful lot of resin jobs. However, the Halo Mage ups the game even more with an absolutely ginormous print bed that is even bigger than the Anycubic Photon Mono X, unlocking your ability to print even larger 3D models. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com and unboxing the ginormous Creality Halo Mage Pro 3D resin printer was today's adventure.